Okay, here's my problem. I'm sure you probably have something similar, maybe not necessarily on YouTube, but in other areas. I work with YouTube for many years. Some of my channels start about over 19 years ago, and I have it many different channels. Like, for example, right here, the Geek at Play that you're probably watching right now on, I have it over 2,400 videos. Actually, in reality, I have it over 3,000, some of them unlisted or for members, other ones. So it's huge collections of video I have there. And I constantly produce new and new. And my biggest problem is um, to find a good subject. Sometimes I need to work because it's not a just produced video. Good video take time to develop, take good research in everything and just preparations. And to do this, I need actually going inside the Google Analytics tools on the YouTube and spend hours maybe even days to specially extract this data try to figure out in spreadsheets before trust me it is a nightmare to work this way when ai start appearing i'm like oh that is maybe helpful and best when ai agent so what is the ai agents it project manager who organize your all other ai and make them work together so instead you telling and babysit hey create this and this for me you tell the agents like go like develop this application for me and agents go on itself and it's established its task what it's need to do define its own goals and using all of these different things to put it together so i run through many different agents uh, i try to do this but you know they most of them actually fall short in many things but i found one that is i think truly like almost anonymous ai agents which well, let me show you what I was meaning. Well, and I want to tell you just about Replit. This is an agent, but it is uh, not just like other ones. Project Manager is also included options to connect with the API services. So API services, it's meaning if I want to retrieve my data from YouTube, I don't need to go and copy all this statistic i don't need it downloaded from there or i don't need to go and write code you know create on youtube all this get ipi keys share it. trust me it's a, like it's a nightmare it's a your head will explode sometimes from doing this so right here all what i need to do i need just says hey give me statistic from my youtube channel as example and it's come up and it says do you want grant me access actually it does it's ask if you want grant access and it's what going used on youtube you just need to say yes check do you want save on google drive sure why not yes and it's going to do this so it is already plus i mean it's so easy it's take a little bit time because it is processing it's creating it's not five minutes project it's not 15 minutes project if you want to develop good you just would spend about 20 30 maybe hour on this project and you create real applications okay i will show you example on the project with a working project that i'm using that actually i create here so i'll put a link down below for the replay just let you know it is not a well you can try first project for free they have it enough credits for you to create one small kind of size of the project you can experience you can see how it's work but realistically if you want to do something workable you actually need purchase and there you can see you have it you're free with 10 public applications you can kind of try core is what i'm currently using and this is 25 per month it's kind of going with dollars but I think it's a token so it's how cpu utilizations will the more you're creating more ideas the more it will use it some of this um money on this also you can have additional options you can create it or you can go with the entire team which is you can add more users which work very well with a team if you have it but in my case i'm using just replete the core this um service okay let's go start to work on one so first what you need to do it is have an idea what you need it what do you want to create in my case i'm specifically was looking for the tool that saved me days and days of my work so in this case i says hey let's build a youtube uh let's build application they can go to my youtube channel take statistic out of there show me very interesting statistic that i cannot find for example how does my color of thumbnail related to my performance or this you know something that usually you need to take a lot of relations very hard to do 
as a human or even this, but AI can perform this incredibly fast and fight correlation between those things. So it's what I did. Well, you can make games, of course, whatever you want, but for me, it's a neat practicality. It's neat something that saved me money. It's make my life much, much easier. So this is what I did. I type it, and the next, when you start working, it going to your developing screen. So right here, you can see there actually all the text when it's go back and forward because on the side, you type what you needed to create and it just going conversation. So this is, think about this, it is not just the AI, it's your project manager. It is one who's staying on top of all other AIs and tell them what to do, who is creating organize, organizations. And this is actually, you can even see how it's all done. So it's not hiding behind a hood somewhere you actually have it access to all code. So if you top right there on the top, choose files, you can see you have it, all of these files, which you ask, can download it. You can go download it, all of this structure and just run on your server if you need it in this case. But right there, if we're going down to our MD file, and we'll click on this replete md you can see here is our definition of our project so it's my project yeah i did not type this it's my project manager here he went went and created updated have it all information what it is doing for us so you can read and if you want something modify you can create this as well all of this bunch of weird strange files was created by agents itself so zero absolutely zero coding in this case. Well, on the top, we have several things. We have a console for those geeks who like to do this. You have it publishing when you need go and deploy if you want to share with other people and speak about publishing because if you work like with a YouTube or other ones where API maybe you're paying money for using some of those services, I would highly recommend ask when you do here type and says add security add password login at the beginning so because when you publish it can be publicly open but if you put even simple login it will prevent people from using your system so they don't overuse your credits or other thing you know just a small tip but i found it's work very well in this case okay so you're going here you can put it on a github for the geekies but for us who doesn't know anything we'll just scan or build and publish or we can go ahead and use here. So this is example. Let's check on some of this analytic data. You can see it's showing I am connected. If connections fail, it will tell me disconnected like in a demo mode. And right here I have it, some of the data come from the channel. It's showing me how many views. It's also showing what date this was best of publishing because it's done perform analytic information for me. And as well, down below, as I specify, it's telling me when it's best published for the video. So it's meaning when I release the video, it's uh, more people watching for this specific subject. So Tuesday is best day. The pattern, this is kind of very interesting because I did not even think, but apparently when in the title I have the brackets, they perform by 17% better. So it's uh, something to consider. And uh, no way a person can very fast identify this. This is what power of AI or this kind of tool where I can see correlations that you're less expecting. Optimal links. Yes, this is about what they recommend for this type of videos. And it's correct. And that's what they perform. Total pattern, for example, numbers. It is preferred to show numbers. Mostly it's because you have versions or years. Parent questions also. 8% and top performing topics is also tell me what topics it does. Well, let's go ahead and look on the generate eight week strategy. And this is based on the data that receiving from my analytic tool. I click create and you can see right here, of course, tutorials and guide six secrets because most of my content focus on tutorials. No secret, this is probably will be the best subject for me as well five tops and secrets this is good framework deep dive that is interesting idea best secrets so you can see it's give it all of this information and for example if i like it i look over and i says you know what i like um like these tutorials i like this to do 
So I can go ahead and click on a current sort line and this is not necessarily create for me everything that I need to tell. It's actually give me just a schedule it says, hey, establish your hook, do your brief, call to action point. It's just a, those checkpoints that allowed me to say, oh, if I, yes, I need to do this, I need to do that, because many times when I record, I may forget some of those checkpoints. And this is a very good reminding without locking me in a specific word per word script. Okay. And when, if I like it, and I says, you know what, I should record this for the Tuesday 10th, I can click add calendar. And it's actually added this event to my calendar, which is very useful. It's connecting directly to API to my Google calendar, you can see in its ad. And of course, if you like it, all of these tutorials, you know, say, you know what, I want to work on them a little bit later from this document, you can click export to all another API call and right here you can see it's actually Google document it's created for me new Google document and put it all of this data inside in this case I have it a copy that I can share with other people or continue working with all these necessary points that is performed and I can add and type by myself script creating what I like it so I can connect to all different services without you going and actually manually put it all this API keys, access, everything. It does so easy. Well, let's see what we have right now. Right here is our integrations and we'll look closer. Well, database, this is very nice because just let you know, if you're going with cloud, it's pay a little bit more here. It's kind of included. A lot of stuff actually included in this, which is nice. We have our authentication. This, you remember I told you about some authentications you can build in. So this is, but this is what very cool because it's have all these connectors that allow seamlessly integrated and you can use all of these services. So we have it our Google Calendar, Docs, we saw this drive, YouTube we connected, Asana, Box, Confluence, have a Discord, you can connect to your channel, you know, you don't need to create the bots there, but you can analyze your Discord or other channels, Dropbox, GitHub, Gmail, check on your emails, you want to create automatically reply, there you go, you can create a very intelligent automatic reply. Cheer, Liner, I mean, it is all full workable. Hey, we have even Spotify access. So I bet I can connect or create my own ultra playlist based on my music. You know, this will be interesting, maybe just for fun, create uh, music specifically for each email I receive. Whatever intonation of this email, we can listen specific music while is reading me my email specifically. That could be a very interesting project. Well, let me know what you think, what you think can be interesting project, what practical project, and also you can create it. And when you do right there, you can see you have it manage for the services that you already connected, or you can sign in. And sign in happening automatically if AI, your agent says, hey, I need access to this specific service so it can go and connect. And if you're worried about what type of access, you can always review. You can review directly from, for example, Google. And I did, honestly, when I gave it access to this, I want to see what its activities was done. So I set monitor there, but you also can click here and preview and you can see what is permissions was done. And you can modify some of these permissions if you want to remove, modify, or maybe you want to cancel and delete some of those connections. So it's very nice transparency of the services and transparency of the billing. This is a very huge um, bonus to me because I like it. I don't like when people hide all teeny tiny things, but there you can definitely see the transparency on multiple levels. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. I'll put a link down below for you so you can go try for yourself. Let me know what you think. If you think this is a good service and worth for me, uh, for you, but uh, personally, I found that this is uh, that unique with all these connectors make incredibly easy and incredibly powerful um, the tool that I can use it. And just this application saved me about, well, let's say, with cancel my other service about 50 60 dollars a month just on this and plus save me about several days of try to extract information 
perform work on this because that is can done do this for me it can connect directly to my services through apis receive that data directly what is needed and use it so if something missing it can go and download new well thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye